Hey y'all, this is your girl Jazzy from Jazzy Hair Care. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. Today, we are going to be talking about how to make your small business look like a big business because at the end of the day, it's all about the end game. It's all about our goals and where we see ourselves in the next year. So taking these necessary steps now is what's going to set you apart from all these other small businesses because you never know when the Lord decides to bless you. He gonna bless you. You see the point tell? When the Lord decides to bless you, he gonna bless you. So what if Target calls you one day and say, hey, we like your work. Can we work with you guys? You have to make sure that you have your ducks in a row already. So when people come to your site and see your products, they already think that you got a bigger financial backing than what you really do. <laughs> we all know you took your last $100 to get your labels done and things like that. So I'm gonna be teaching you how to make yourself appear to be a bigger, well-established business, but they don't even know you still a lone horse, okay? You making the product, you packaging the product, you printing out the labels, you going to the post office, you customer support, but they ain't gonna know that, okay? <laughs> so if you guys are interested in how I make myself be appear to be bigger than what I am, stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, so the first step for me is to have a goal in mind, a big goal, not just a little small goal that's easy for you to obtain. You need to have a big, crazy faith goal that you know by yourself, you can't make this happen, right? You know that you need bigger powers to make this happen, okay? Some call it the Lord, some call it the universe. A blessing is a blessing who is a blessing. You need to have a goal so big that it scares you. So when you do manifest that goal, you're going to be like, I can't believe I literally started in my kitchen with my daughter on my hip. And now look at me. I got my own warehouse. That is where we are trying to go. I want that for all of us. So you need to first write down your first five goals. Like me personally, I'm in the hair care industry. Um, I make... Um, hair care accessories for natural hair. I feel like we already have a lot of businesses that, you know, cover the, you know, what to put in your hair as far as conditioner, the oil and stuff like that. But we don't have enough hair care accessories. So that is what Jazzy Hair Care pretty much stands for. And, um, you know, I'm the creator of the Adjust the Puff, you know, adjustable, uh, an adjustable headband for your puffs to make sure it's not a lot of tension. But I ain't gonna brag too much about myself. I ain't gonna brag, you know, it's patented. Don't be cute. Um, I ain't gonna brag too much about myself, but my end goal is to be into Target, to be into Walmart, Sally's, sell overseas, things like that. So I know that goal is so big, it's so crazy that I need that extra help. And I also know that I need my ducks in a row because if Target was decided to call me today, will I be ready? Will my packaging be ready? So that is what is the first step. Write down your goals in the next year or five years, big ass goals, and make sure that they are big enough to scare you. Okay? So the next tip is your labels, okay? A lot of us choose to make our own labels, right? A lot of us choose to get on Canva and try to make our own labels. So our labels are often, you know, basic. I honestly recommend that you hire somebody to do your labels. There are graphic designers, people who went to school for product packaging for this very reason. Don't try to do this yourself, sis. Hire somebody. The best place that I go to, there's two places that I go to, but my main place is Fiverr, okay? F-I-V-V-E-R, I'm not, if I'm not uh, mistaken. But Fiverr is pretty much a freelance website that people who do like, um, social media marketing, branding, consulting. Um, they got ghostwriters on there. They have graphic designers. They have people who make your logos. They have people who make your packaging. They are the best one-stop shop. And I feel like a lot of people are sleeping on Fiverr. They have so many people. Like, you know how like if you have a talent and uh, you have a talent, but you're not necessarily working in that field for that talent. So you want to make some extra money. That is pretty much what Fiverr is. It's all these freelance people who are doing what they love on the side. Basically, I have a guy who does all my packaging, all of my packaging, and he is superb. And it only costs me $25 to make it. And that is on his premium side. I could have got him to do it for $10, but I wanted like unlimited revisions and I wanted him to, you know, really 
really bring my vision to life so i paid for the premium package but there are people who cost ten dollars fifteen dollars twenty dollars so it all depends on your budget and what exactly you want done but when i tell you people always tell me how nice my packaging is i love 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 fiber and every every package that i have i use this guy now another place that you can use is etsy etsy is really really good um well it's okay etsy is number two for sure in in regards to making your labels because a lot of people would just make blank labels for you and you just pretty much they have so pretty much they made an outline of a label if you like their design then you can say hey let me buy this file for you and then you can just go in there and change like maybe the colors and the name to put your business name on there so you don't have as much freedom as you would with fiverr because fiverr is someone working with you one-on-one -on -one. you tell them hey listen here's the pictures this is what i want this is the colors what i want this is what i wanted to say and they'll do it for you but etsy is also a good place if you don't want to get too detailed in that you can just go i like this one bop, 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 bop. that's it when it comes to Etsy though, I recommend that you try your hardest to get files that, to buy files from people who use Canva, okay? I say that because I bought some uh, some labels one time from this girl and they were pretty labels in the beginning, but then I wanted to change, I feel like I wanted to change something and I wasn't able to change it because that was her file. She only unlocked so much from her file that I couldn't like take this off or I couldn't move this around because that's not what she allowed me to do. That's not what I bought basically. But when I bought another template from Canva, um, from Etsy and she used Canva as editing system, I was able to get in there and change anything. So when you get a editor that's using Canva, girl, you can change anything in there. So whenever using Etsy to trying to find your template for your labels, try to find someone who is using Canva. So the next tip kind of falls in line with the labels and the big picture. Remember we talked about the big picture. So this is the big picture that we're talking about. So if you are trying, if you think in the long run, you want to become, if you want to get into, um, retail right if you think in the long picture you want to get in retail you may want to invest in some barcodes right so now there's a lot of people out there who sell barcodes for the cheap but the thing about when people sell these barcodes for the cheap like i know some people you can get um like 10 for like maybe 15 bucks but here's the thing about those cheap ones yeah you can buy them to look cute to make your customers think that you got your stuff together right like, oh she got a little barcode she got facial no, she not because you can't use every barcode on Amazon, on Target, on Walmart. They don't recognize them little small janky um, barcodes. They only recognize these barcodes from GS1 USA is a nationally known place to buy barcodes. So pretty much when you buy barcodes from them, they're your, they are known globally. You can sell it anywhere. You can sell your products anywhere. You can sell it in any store. Target uses them. Amazon uses them. Walmart uses them. Everybody uses them. However, they are a little expensive, but they're not super expensive when it comes to investing in your company. If you know in your hearts of hearts that you want to get into retail, you better start thinking, believing, and packaging like you're already in retail. Okay? Stop playing with yourself. Start packaging like you are in retail. So with GS1 USA though, for 10, for 10 barcodes, it's $250. Chill out. Wait, wait. I know what you're saying. Uh-uh, that's too much. It is a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. But it's not a lot because like I said, if that's your end game, if that's where you know you want to be, $250 is a small price to pay. Now, the only thing is you got to use those carefully because when it comes to like different variants and so pretty much you only can use one barcode for one product. So if you have, so say I have like a scrunchie, right? And I put, I have a black scrunchie, right? And then I put the barcode on the back of that packaging. Now, baby, if I got a blue scrunchie, I can't use that same barcode from that black packaging because it, you know, it's two different products. So whenever I get into like Target, for instance, I can't use the same barcode because it'll mess up the system. So tread lightly when it comes to your 10, you can buy more. I think uh, like for $1,000, you can get like 500. I'm not sure. But 
to start off 10 is good so just think about the main products that you know you want to put into store like for me i don't put barcodes on all of the products that I, I service i know for me i want my adjust puff in stores so i put that barcode on that i know i want my stretchies in stores so i put a barcode for that i know i have three different variants of my stretchies so i put each barcode on each different one so probably now i got like probably like five barcodes left so i mean they don't expire um the only thing is after a year you do have to pay like a 50 dollar like annual fee like 50 dollars a year for the you know maintenance or subscription i guess but that's that's nothing but if you are thinking about getting into retail that may be something that you really want to do and not even retail if you are thinking about trying to sell on amazon i know a lot of us want to get to amazon amazon ain't gonna play with you if you don't got them right barcodes okay so think about it i highly recommend it you may have to you know turn some cans in to get the money i don't know where you can get the money sis but it's a good investment and i think a lot of you guys should go that route Okay, so the next tip is make sure that your printing and your labels are legit. We already talked about going to Fiverr to make sure that they look nice, right? We already said they're going to be real pretty. You either go to Fiverr or Etsy. We already discussed that. Now we're talking about printing. Make sure that you have someone to print your labels out really nicely. Make sure you have someone to print your packaging out really nicely. Now, there's two places that I like to go. Um, so you can, it depends on what you have. If you just need some sticker labels right if you just need some quick sticker labels i recommend the place got print so gotprint.com okay they are uh based in los angeles right and they to me so far they are the cheapest way to get your to get your uh to label so i i was able to get like 250 um just standard what four by six labels for like 36 bucks right 250 let's talk about it however if you don't need them urgently, they do take about a week and a half, maybe two weeks to deliver out. So if you need something like right away, then you may want to order these in advance. But in regards to uh, like the quality and how much you get, the bang for your buck, I would recommend going to them. You can get your business cards. They have a wider range of printing options. You just want to make sure anything that you need promotional, um, if you want like, you know, um, what do you call that little thing that you put on the table? Um, little banners and stuff. You may want to check them out because uh, Vista Print is doing too much. Vista Print used to be the go-to. No, like then they used to be like ten dollars for a hundred, like five hundred business cards. But now I guess they know they're worth. So now they are raising their little prices, but they raise them too high, so everybody fleeing. You know, Vista Print used to be my jam, but I was like, mm -mm, not my little coins. So luckily, I found Got Print and they are great i just got some beautiful labels in um for my scrunchies for at, at pretty much everything that i have i buy my labels because you can try to do this stuff yourself but then you'll be pissed like i can't tell you i searched high and low for a good printer that prints out my labels so i have to get the vinyl paper thicker paper and when i tell you they would get jammed, stuck, and you don't want to do that. If you're late night trying to get your orders out and stuff, and you're trying to get some nice, glossy, um, you know, labels out and your printer jammed, you don't even want to think of that. We got enough stress as a small business going on. We don't need the stress. So I recommend getting your labels, okay? Got print, but any other service like that, just make sure you invest your time and your money in your labels. Even if you're only selling like, you know, a few items don't maybe get the 250 see if they got 50 labels see if they got 100 labels start with small quantities but if and when when i should say no if when you pop you better be ready to pop that's all i'm saying okay so the next tip is your website okay the website you also want to make sure that you spend some time and some money and some energy on your website you can do it yourself. There's no one telling you cannot do it yourself. However, you may want to spend a little bit of money on um, the themes, right? So the themes, we know you get, like, depending on who your host is, I personally go to Shopify because I like Shopify. I like how easy it is to do. I like how, you know, they keep just everything in track. I just prefer Shopify. I can't personally tell you any other services because I've never used any other services. Um, so Shopify is the one I use. Now, Shopify has a lot of good basic um, themes, right? So starting out, you think, this is fine. Girl, this, look at this is good. You may think that it's good. But 
what will set you apart. You ever go like to Fashion Nova's website or something and you hover around it and then the girl just, she just changed poses without you even having to click on her. You want those kind of features. So when you pay for a theme, you get, you get to unlock these features. You get to, you know, like I said, hover over her. She's already changing things. You can get the pop-ups going. You can do like, you know, all of these different type of additions that you wouldn't necessarily get when you have a free theme. Now for me, I paid for my theme, okay? My theme was $180. <laughs> I know, my theme was $180, but I was able to really get a good theme and I was able to, you know, get all those features that I wanted that I saw other bigger stores have. And I was like, I want, you know, a pop-up to pop up when people come to my page, I want to hover over and the girl be, you know, the girl be moving around. I want that too. So I paid the extra money and I don't regret it. I don't regret it. Secondly, in regards to your website, go to Etsy for those templates. Again, they have these cool little um, headers that you can buy. Um, they have like the themes, like I said, whatever the vibe your business is, whatever the vibe you want your people to see when they come onto your site, I'm sure Etsy will have a template for it. And if you don't like the color exactly, you can go in there and change the color. So don't sleep on Etsy. Don't sleep on Fiverr because they can really, really help you. And let me tell you something. There's a lot of people trying to scam you guys. There's too much free information out here for you to be paying anybody. Okay, there's too many platforms that can help you do something easily for you to be paying somebody. Like I know a, a friend of mine paid this guy $150 or like $200 to do her website. And I was like, girl, there's literally, what is it? GoDaddy, there's Wix, there's freaking big cartel and there's shopify that you can do for free don't hire don't have nobody pimp you out your money some girl wanted to do you know some um what does it cost some business cards and pay the guy 50 dollars. girl if you don't go on canvas stop playing with me stop playing with me stop playing with me stop playing with me like why are you hiring people today is the day where technology is key and is ruling the world there is too much free and if it ain't free it's just probably 12 dollars to upgrade the service you can do it yourself do it yourself. Don't let nobody play you. You're small already. You can't afford to be paying unnecessary money. You need to just pay what you need to pay to play. Okay, and the very last thing, I'm sure a lot of you guys already have it and it's very small and you think that it's not necessary, but make sure you have a professional email, right? So don't have your customers, your Shopify stores linked to, you know, jazzygirl414, you already know, at yahoo.com. These customers can't talk to you like that. So you have to make sure that you get a professional email. Usually when you buy your domain for your website, they offer you a professional email for a few dollars more, right? So like mine's is, you know, jasmine at jazzyhaircare.com, right? So it's all linked together. So whenever my customers have an issue or something like that, that is the email they go to. They don't go to my personal email. You know what I'm saying? Because I rarely check that. It's a spammer. You want to make sure when you check that email, you know it's only business inquiries. You know it's only about the customers. You know it's only about your business. So that is something that you need. It's not non-negotiable. And a lot of them are like $5 a month. I think I got mine for $3 a month. $3 ain't going to make or break it. You know what I'm saying? So that is something that you also need to invest in, sis. Stop playing. Okay, so that's it. I hope these tips really help you guys because, like I said, we small today, but baby, we're not going to be small long. So if you guys like this content, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Follow me. I'm going to be teaching you guys everything that I've learned. And one thing to remember, just if you ever had a business before and it failed, don't consider yourself a failure because you probably weren't meant to do that. A lot of times, a lot of us just try to follow the wave. You know, we think, oh, they're making money selling lip glosses. So I'm going to sell lip gloss. It looks like it's a booming thing. But God or the universe is probably telling you, no, I don't want you to sell lip glosses. I want you here. But sometimes you need to go through these situations, fail so that you learn. So then when you get back up, you have that extra knowledge already that you wouldn't have had if you never took the chance. Even though you failed in the beginning, you have way more knowledge than the girls who never started. So never feel bad about yourself. Nothing happens by coincidence and we about to get this money. So again, my name is Jazzy. Thank you guys so much for listening and I'll see y'all later. Peace out.